fishing again. Uh, it's mild weather in September at sunset. Really nice out here. Um, I got fish on and I got a really, really cute uh, blowfish here. I usually fish in the morning hours, but uh, got preoccupied with something else earlier. Uh, so here I am in the afternoon. Here are some photo of the uh, bluefish um, striking a pose. Um, found some fish here, and I am anchored up. Um, I don't have a GPS or anything, so I am fishing in about 12 feet of water, based on the drop of the uh, the lure. I'm using a small metal jig, uh, tip with some bait. I'm jigging off the bottom, uh, a gentle lift here and there, hopefully to uh, entice a strike. I'm feeling a, a few small nibbles here. Um, they are probably some small fish, perhaps uh, sea bass here, or maybe black fish. Not quite sure. Nope, the way I fight, it's a definitely a porgy. I've uh, fished this location a few times now this season, even though there are many places out there to fish and catch bigger fish too. But this particular location is very close to home and it's super convenient for me. Um, you know, you don't want to uh, go far to get some action, so this is, this is ideal. It's uh, late September here right now and the bay is pretty quiet uh, with few boats here and there. Sorry about the uh, camera angle with the uh, sunlight reflecting off the water. I didn't notice it till I uh, got back home and had a chance to look at the videos. So there you go. Using a uh, small jig to bounce off the bottom is great fun. I haven't been using the uh, Hilo uh, rig this season at all, at least not yet. I'm just waiting for the uh, blackfish um, season to open. So uh, for the first time ever, I've been using my low profile baitcaster more than my spinner. Uh, I might need to increase my baitcaster arsenal during the off season. Um, do you guys uh, who switch from spinner to baitcaster, do you find yourself um, going back to the spinner at a later time, or do you ever, um, or do you, do you just stay with the baitcaster? fish on here, but uh, it just came off as it uh, got close to the uh, surface. Um, these porgies are not big by any means, but they are legal size, and they do put up a really nice fight, especially on a very light rod. I uh, typically don't anchor up, um, but today I'm feeling a little bit lazy um, to paddle around, plus there's a screw of fish right below me, so didn't really need to go anywhere fish on and it's not a porgy, uh, a tiny little blackfish. So the uh, season opener for blackfish is in a couple of weeks from now, uh, can't wait. So there's a bunch of li tiny little tap uh, against my lure, I'm thinking it's a bagal or some kind of fish. But uh, after pulling this guys up, it's a super small uh, sea bass that's been stealing my bait. Um, I can't even say I've seen a uh, keeper size uh, sea bass around here. I'm not sure if there are any at all. Uh, it's currently outgoing tie and my tiny jig is scoping. Um, it's going with the current. I'm using a, I guess a three ounce, uh, not three ounce, three eighths of an ounce jig uh, with a tiny twitch here and there. And it usually doesn't take long for a uh, fish to grab on. For those of you that are interested, you should give this a try. Uh, you might like it.
this fish is playing with me. Bite and leave. Repeat again and again until I finally got him here. As I tried to uh, untangle my line, the um, the fish hit my lure and it's fish on. They kind of hooked themselves. I'm not complaining here at all. Okay, I'm gonna let the rest of the video play out. Please don't forget to give a like and subscribe. Help the channel out. Thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to leave a comment, a like, a dislike, and please subscribe. Thank you.